let's now look at tuples. In the previous lecture we looked at lists and tuples are very similar to lists. The only difference is that tuples are not mutable, so you cannot change a tuple. Lists are used much more than tuples, so tuples are only used in very specific scenario. And we will see uh, some scenarios uh, throughout the course when we build the real world applications. So you don't have to worry about understanding when to use a tuple in programming for now. Anyway, I want to show you the syntax. Uh, so you can create a tuple like that. So a tuple, uh, just like list, they, they contain, they may contain different data types. Let's say three, four, and so on. Oh, sorry, um, I was writing in the terminal. Mm, let me open the Python shell. So again, you have strings, uh, numbers, and uh, flows, if you like, whatever type that you want, you can pass in a tuple and in a list. And of course, you can use indexing for tuples as well. So let's access the last item, and that will give 4.6. Uh, the difference is that, you know, tuples, they have some slight different methods than uh, lists. So if you do dear list, you'll see that lists have much more methods available than tuples. So for instance, you can append items to a list, you can clear the list and copy and count. Count is available for tuples because count doesn't change uh, the data type. So it doesn't change the tuple. It just counts how many items are there in a tuple. As I said, tuples are immutable, so you cannot change them. Uh, that's why these methods that change the data type, like inserting new values and popping out values, removing uh, values, reversing and sorting, so these are not available. And yeah, this is more or less about tuples. In case you need them later, uh, they are there for you. Hope you're enjoying the course and I'll talk to you later.